Okay, so to welcome to day 13. I have a few minutes before my next group comes and I'm going to do um, this affirmation. Today's affirmation is, I can say no. I do not have a problem saying no. That's right, you have the right to say no without any explanation. When you say yes or maybe, but really mean no, you are ignoring your own needs and boundaries. Sometimes we fear no because we don't want to disappoint others. Honor yourself by affirming you will be honest with yourself and others when you want to say no to something. Do you have a hard time telling others no because of guilt? Dig deep into this in the following space by examining your feelings around saying no. So I used to be a long time ago. <laughs> Um, always doing things for others and putting their needs and wants and even their feelings before mine. But for the past few years, I have no problem saying no. I personally do not care who you are. I don't care if you're um, my mom, my dad, my sister, my children, boyfriend, aunt, co-worker, best friend. I mean, anybody. I don't do it. So if I feel that, and it's not even just being mean, it's really just... Um, no, I don't. It's not being mean. It's not not wanting to help. But I have to put myself first. Like if I'm tired. I'm not gonna do it. If I don't have the funds, if someone asks for money, I don't and I don't have it or have it to give. I'm gonna say no. If I don't feel like it's a good thing to do or my body is just tired, I would not do it. Even if I don't want to do it at that moment and I want to do it later, I will tell someone like, okay, I can't do it right now or by that deadline that you want, but if you still want me to do it, I can do it later on down the line when I am ready to do it. So I personally do not have a problem with saying no. And to be honest, I sleep good at night doing it. And people may say, oh, it's so mean or whatever that you don't want. It's not that I don't want to help out. I just want to make sure that I am good. I want to make sure that I am not stressed out. I want to make sure that it does not take time away from myself, time away from my children, time away from things that is that is important to me because I have to put me first like a lot of people don't do that and they be so stressed out for example I'm not gonna say who but I have seen someone put everyone's needs and wants before theirs and the burnout is crazy and I'll just be sitting there like <laughs> you know why are you doing this like it's okay to do it but do it at your own terms if they cannot wait or they cannot abide by your terms, then it's okay. They will find, most likely, let me tell you, not even most likely, when you tell someone no and they need it done, they would definitely go to someone else to get it done or they would do it themselves. And don't stress out about it. Like, I literally do not stress about anything no more. People tell me no, and I don't have a problem with that because when they tell me no, um, I either do it myself or I figure out how to do it or I find somebody else to help me do it. Like. I don't take offense to I don't take it per it don't take it personal because you never know what someone really is going through and it could be just a mental thing it could be a physical thing it could be a selfish thing whatever you want to call it but like uh, like I said before I have no problem saying no and you shouldn't either um, I did have my little notes here so key benefits of saying no to others that will help you establish boundaries it helps you preserve time and energy, reduce stress. It promotes self-care and work-life balance. It strengthens relationships through clear communication and increases productivity and effectiveness by focusing on your priorities. So, put yourself first. It does not matter who is asking, you have to put yourself first because if you're not okay, how can you make sure someone else is okay? And, you know, I do have a two and six year old that depends on me. Like, they can't do things for this. Stuff. So, if they're hungry, I can't say no to that. I don't feel like cooking. I have to cook and make sure they are fed. But if my 16 year old says he's hungry, mom, can you take me to McDonald's? Uh, no. <laughs> Especially if I'm tired from work, either find something in the kitchen or now that we have Uber Eats, Uber Eats it or figure it out. But in those situations, you, of course, you can't say no to a baby or anything like that. But it, mostly when people, um, and when that's not even a, a, a thing because I have to feed my children. So I could use that example of if someone, oh, my crafting. So like I, I do shirts and things like tumblers and things like that. So people, even people that I do know, they would ask uh, for me to do 
a shirt for a holiday or a birthday that's coming up. And a lot of times they ask for it like in two days. And, and sometimes I can do, I may have the shirt on hand or I may have the time, but I just don't feel like doing it in two days because it doesn't, it's, it's not as, it's easy to do, but I think people think I could just print, press and go. And it takes a little more than that, especially if you have to design from scratch or they send it in a design. You have to make, you know, find the time to do that. It's not as easy as it seems. So I either tell them, I don't care how much the money is. I don't care if I need the money to do. I don't care if it's one shirt or a big order. I do not rush things and I do not feel like doing it. I do not do it. And, I, and in that case, I always refer them to my other crafting sisters. Like I know such and such that does this. Maybe check her out and she's good. I even use some of my craft sisters, but I don't feel like doing my stuff for myself and my own trigger. So that's another example. I definitely will take that no, or will say no, do not get the money for it. And I will sleep or do other things that I wanted to do that I plan on doing. And even in relationships, like I, I'm not as spontaneous, I say, I guess when it comes to like date nights and things like that, I like, thing, I like to be planned, I like things planned out. So if someone, if he comes to me, it's like, we, we, we go and start to eat dinner or go to this place tonight. And I'm like, no, cause my plan is to be in the bed watching all, all the SVU or my plans are to be, um, I have things to do in my business or something like that because I'm, I'm already focused on those goals or reaching the goals or I'm just tired from work in general, or I just don't want to go. Like it's not, it's no interest. So for me, I like to be what's best for me in, in that case. No is very easy to say, and I'm, if you take it as being selfish or or being mean or anything, it's okay because I, at the end of the day, I always feel good um, about how I spend my time and do things, and they'll be okay because when they, they ask you, they may ask somebody else afterwards. So don't have a, do not be afraid, it's a thing, do not be afraid to say no. Put yourself first, so in the comments, uh, put down, you know, your feelings. What do you feel about, how do you feel about telling people no when they ask you um, for anything, for favors or time or anything? How do you feel about saying no and how do you go about it? And also, if you're not that type of person yet or don't plan on being or, or plan on being that type of person, how do you plan on going about saying no to others for yourself, you know? So see you tomorrow for day 14. <laughs> Thank you.